determine whether each of the following relations are reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Relation R in the set A of human beings in a town at a particular time given by the first one let us discuss. R is equal to x comma y such that x and y work at the same place. Yes. Let us check for the reflexive. The reflexive condition is for every x belongs to A, x comma x must belongs to R. Suppose we consider an employee x, x belongs to A. We can say that he himself x comma x must belongs to the R. Means both are the same persons. We can say they both at the same place. So we can consider, we can just say that reflexive. And coming to the symmetric, let us consider two persons x and y belongs to A. Let x comma y belongs to the set A such that x is working together with y. So that is x comma y work at the same place which also implies that which also implies that y and x also working at the same place means both are same they both work at the same organization same place so we can consider x comma y belongs to r and also y comma x belongs to r so it is symmetric and coming to the third transitive let us consider the three employees x y z belongs to the set a such that x and y work at the same place and y and z work at the same place so which also implies that if x and y working at the same place and y and z working at the same place which indicates that x and z also working at the same place that is x comma z belongs to r so that we can just conclude that this relation is also is reflexive symmetric and transitive so it is equivalence relation also we can call let's consider second one b r is equal to x comma y such that x and y live in the same locality it also gives the same as the first problem first a1 for x belongs to a for a person belongs to the a he himself will be living in the same locality so we can consider that x comma x belongs to r it is reflexive and also the second symmetric if two persons belong to the same locality if x comma y belongs to r then we can also say that y and x also belong to the same locality so we can just consider that it is symmetric and coming to the transitive let us consider three persons x y z belongs to a so let us consider here three persons x comma y comma z belongs to the set a and if x and y belongs to the same locality x and y lives in the same locality and y and z lives in the same locality then we can also imply that x and z will live in the same locality so we can just consider that this relation is also transitive and hence we can say it is reflexive symmetric and transitive the second one and hence we can also call it is equivalence relation let's check third one c r is equal to x comma y such that x is exactly 7 centimeter taller than y so the, it is given here x is equal to y plus 7 now let us consider the first one reflexive let us consider a person x belongs to a a person cannot be taller than himself 
he can be equal to himself equal height in himself but we cannot say that x comma x belongs to r so it is does not belongs to r a person cannot be taller than himself so this relation is not reflexive and coming to the next symmetric if suppose x and y belongs to a if x is 7 cm taller than y which implies that y is 7 cm shorter than x which implies y comma x does not belongs to r so it does not satisfy the relation so we can just conclude that this is not symmetric even and now let us coming to the let us come to the transitive for x comma y comma z three persons belong to the a say x is seven centimeter taller than y and y is seven centimeters taller than z then we can say very clearly that x is 14 centimeter taller than the z so which also indicates which is not satisfying the relation so x comma z does not belongs to r and hence we can conclude that this relation is not transitive so this is neither reflexive nor symmetric nor transitive so we can write here the sec third one neither neither reflexive symmetric nor transitive and coming to the fourth one r is equal to x comma y such that x is wife of y so let us consider a person belongs to a which indicates that x cannot be the wife of herself if we consider a female person she cannot be wife of herself so we can say that x comma x does not belongs to r so this is not reflexive and coming to the next if two persons consider x comma y belongs to a such that x is wife of y then y is not a wife of x in fact y is a husband of x so y comma x is not satisfying the relation so we can say does not belongs to r and hence we can say this is not symmetric let's check the transitive let's consider three persons x comma y comma z belongs to a such that consider an ordered pair x comma y belongs to r x is a wife of y and y cannot be y cannot be the wife of somebody else so in fact we can say that there is no ordered pair y comma z belongs to r there is no such ordered pair forms and so it's not necessary to discuss about x comma z and hence we can simply say that this relation is transitive if x comma y belongs to r as per the definition if x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r then we need to discuss about x comma z so if y comma z is not happening if y cannot be the wife of somebody else then there is no point of discussing about x and z and in such case we can say this relation is transitive and coming to the next fourth one uh, sorry fifth x is father of y suppose it consider x belongs to a a father cannot be a father of himself so there is no ordered pair forming x comma x does not belongs to r and hence we can say it is not reflexive so we can consider that this is not reflexive and let us consider two elements if x comma y belongs to a such that x is a father of y 
which doesn't imply that y is the father of x in fact y can be a son or daughter of x so we can say that y comma x does not belongs to r and hence this relation is not symmetric now let's check transitive consider three persons x y z belongs to a such that x is a father of y and y is a father of z so when x is father of y and y is a father of z then we can say that x is a grandfather of z or z can be the grandson or granddaughter of x so that we can consider here x comma z will not satisfy the relation father so x comma z does not belongs to r and hence we can just conclude that this relation is not transitive here d1 is reflexive neither reflexive nor symmetric but transitive and coming to the last one it's a neither reflexive symmetric not transitive it's a neither okay